I had, I had a bad thing happen to me. I really did. And many people say, oh, what happened? And I said, you know, I really don't want to talk about it. But what I do want to talk about is all the brilliant things that did happen to me afterward. The day I injured myself, I, um, it was a pretty normal day, and um, I was using a compound miter saw and uh, get rid of the, the little bits of one by and two by fours, and I was just working quickly. And I, was, I reached across the uh, table of the saw, and um, my sleeve got caught, and it cut my arm very badly. And Randall called me, and Mom, Dad cut his arm off. <laughs> You know, like, okay, what did he do now? Seriously, that's what I said, what did he do now? And he's like, no, Mom, EMS is here. Dad cut his arm off. I was transported EMS to an Eastside Hospital. They asked me at that point, they said, sir, what's your name? I'm sure in hopes to make sure that I was still cognizant and aware. And I immediately said to them, get me to U of M. He said, sir, What's your birth date? I said, get me to U of M. He said, sir, who's the president of the United States? And I said, get me to U of M. I knew that if I had any chance of keeping my arm attached, it was likely at a place like U of M. And I turned out to be right because I still have my arm and I'm really, really grateful. Here's this guy, Dr. Ozer, who turns out to be one of the few people in the country who's gonna be doing hand transplants. He's on call the day I do this. Dr. Ozer called me, I wanna say it was only like five and a half hours. It was not that long and I was like, oh, this ain't good. I was prepared for the worst. And that was my fear that if he lost his hand, I knew he couldn't go back to work. And um, Dr. Ozer, he came in and he's like, everything went good. And I was like, oh my God, how is that possible? How is that possible? I've pretty much returned, 100%. And here I am, barely six months into this journey. Um, and I, I, I've been at work for four months. It, that, that's incredible. I cut hair six weeks after my surgery. It was unbelievable. That's not possible. What he gave me in allowing me to keep my hand and my arm on, it was more than my arm. It was my opportunity to maintain these relationships that I've had with uh, uh, the community in Gross Point and beyond for 36 years. It is absolutely a gift to return to work. This, these doctors at U of M, They're able to back up with their skills and their capabilities. They have every right to be arrogant, and they're not. I don't know how they get that way. Every time I try to compliment them, they always say, it's you, you're doing the work, you're making it happen. I'm like, really? I, you gave me the opportunity for me to make this happen. They gave me a tremendous amount to be thankful for. I just want the world to know that I'm really grateful and that um, U of M rescued me and uh, gave me the opportunity to do this again. And uh, I need them to know how grateful I am.